Hi everyone, welcome back to True Mommy. I hope you are all well by the grace of God. My returning subscribers, thank you very much. I truly appreciate you all. My new subscribers, you are very welcome. My name is Mambi, a Ghanaian living in the UK. I'm coming to bring you another story. Um, it was a Zimbabwe president that was speaking to a German diplomat. I didn't get the whole video. I got a short video. But from what I've taken from this video, it's very, very important. And I wanted to share with you and I hope you find it interesting and important as well. The German uh, diplomat, according to the video, was telling or as Namibia president about Chinese activity in Africa, as they always do. And you can see the anger uh, that can, it came out of him. He was, he didn't take that question easily at all because um, he was saying that we are not children for you people to be dictating to us, to be telling us what to do. Chinese are okay for us. Don't tell us they are bad. Why is it that anytime you visit us, the first thing you have to do or ask is about Chinese? as if we don't know how to take care of ourselves, as if we are stupid. What about our, our Africans that are in your country that you are not treating them well? What about them? Let's talk about that. What about our diplomats that some of them has been arrested at the airport that you don't treat well because you don't respect us? What about that? We are not children for you to be dictating to us. Chinese are fine with us Africans. Stop dictating to us. Mind your own business. I said, wow. I never see that coming. But Always, when I see our leaders or one of our leaders speaking that way, the question that comes into my mind first is, what our what <laughs> what are they doing to stop these questions that irritate them that much and irritate all Africans and even some of the West? What are they doing to stop it? Because when we keep begging from them, they think they have the right to tell us whatever they want. You know, when um, you have workers, it's disrespectful to speak to your workers somehow. Regardless, some people do speak to them. As I'm doing this video, we have a problem here in UK when one of the ministers, they use the word bully, if I can use it on this channel, was bullying his um, workers. An investigation was going on for some time now. Is you know, the big people plus the small people. The small people always are liars, according to them. But it came out that it wasn't a lie. It was going on for some time now, but then others were like sweeping it. They don't want anyone to know. The reason why I'm using this as an example is, you know, you cannot speak to people uh, the way you don't want to be speaking to, if that makes sense, you know. You want people to respect you, respect them first. But U.S. and the West, they just go to Africa and tell them, do this, do that, or else. Or else we will not give you the foreign aid. Or else we will not do this. Or else we will not do that. You know, they don't give it for free. There's always something attached to what they will give you. 
so that that's how painful it is when I watch our leaders speaking their mind. I think, oh my goodness, you you spoke well, you you said the right thing, and you said the truth. But will you be going tomorrow to beg? Or tomorrow, if you are not there, the one that will come after you, is everything all right there that they will continue without begging? We need Africa to unite properly, not only on paper. It need to be like, we need to see it. But when we see our youth risking their life on the boats, in everything, to come to the same country that we speak to like that, it's just painful. At the end of the day, it's not the leaders that will suffer for it. It is us that will suffer. Like he said, they arrest some of the even diplomats. The way they treat the Africans in Germany, which is no good. And then here is he telling him what to do. He is a president. He can speak his mind. He can tell him whatever he wants to tell him, and they cannot do anything. But what about us living in their countries? Okay, I will not make this video long. Please listen to um, the conversation. It's not a conversation. He was talking to him like a child. So listen to him. Leave your opinion in the comment section. And like I said, comments are very, very important. Why people come and read. People, I read it. A lot of people, years to come, somebody will come and read that comment. Trust me, I read my own comment. Two years ago, I left that comment on some, a video. This afternoon, I was like, oh, yeah. I was using Mama Pink Farm by then. That's my comment. That's my comment. And I was proud because it got a lot of likes. I was proud of myself. We are learning every day. We have to learn to hopefully, hopefully make Africa great one day. The Africa that will not go begging. The Africa that will stand on its feet. The Africa that our children and our great-grandchildren will be proud of. Thank you very much. Please watch the video and I'll see you again. God bless you as always. Bye-bye. I do you, by the way. You talk about Chinese. We allow Germans to come up with visas here. Red carpet. Our people that started in Germany. Even the Mongoli Battle of Holders. In German. And you come in, the Germans come in, you are SD1. Why Chinese talk about Germans? How you are treating us, did Chinese don't treat us like that. Diplomatic passport help. We're coming back from me, from Geneva. These people were held up at the airport. Just now, last week, up in Germany. We know what we will handle our own country. Don't be sorry for us. Absolutely, yeah. Yeah. Every time, Western accounts is about Chinese. <laughs> what is the problem? You know, maybe I don't know Chinese. You should tell the Western American self, Chinese is overtaken, I'm English, not in my own words. No. I told Chinese, I'm not your puppet. It was in place everywhere. In Southeast, respect us, that's what I would say. It shows this is bad. And we are children, then we are going to be news. I, by Joel, by Chinese or so? No. Chinese are coming in infrastructure, they're all over the world. When I saw in America, I had it. Who paid Americans out in front of the financial crisis? And this money is dead. So why did uh, it's one memory of the Who fought German, 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 we're fighting with you. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,